Hello, my pretties. How are you guys? I'm going to be doing a quick read. Um, so in the last two reads, basically what we were seeing um, was that, a, you know, a lot of you guys are feeling a way about certain people being a part of what I call the crackhead crew, which is basically like gang stalkers, um, dream killers, body snatchers, um, the group of vampires, okay, people that are involved in plots to kill you, plots to get you sick, plots to steal your inheritances, plots to take your money, all right, all right, they telling me, okay, let me, let me say this to you guys, I have seen a few times this year, last year, okay, with my own eyes, um, people involved in family units or even their friends, right? It, with friends and friendship groups, um, the death causing the death of someone else spiritually and it being passed off as sickness. Okay. It being passed off as, you know, um, some people doing conflict spells and then, you know, a person dies by, you know, an argument that, you know, that just turned, uh, ridiculously dangerous in a blink of an eye. Right. And that's because somebody did chaos spells purposely to try to harm this person. Right. I have seen this a few times with my own two eyes. Okay. Intuitively. All right. Um, another thing too, um, the, for those of you who know about the people that are involved in plots to harm you, look around them. OK, look around them. If, if 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 somebody, you know, close to them recently died. OK, um, what you're going to do is you're going to look at if someone around them who could be could have been old, could have been sick. OK, somebody more vulnerable. OK, than you because they couldn't get you. OK, these are certain signs and things that I've seen. <laughs> OK, with my own two eyes. I want you guys to be careful and watch out for that because in the last two reads we were discussing like the plots um to kill you, okay, to make you sick, to harm you. Um a lot of the times when they do this to divine beings, they call on entities to try to harm you and and, and when and when the entity can't get you, okay, get what they were promised, right? The devil, whatever, lower level entities and ent energies. It's like, OK, so where's my meat? Right. Where's my payoff? Where's where's what you promised me? So now they got to give them something. All right. And we saw that in karmic land, too. All right. So we have follow your dreams and storm warning. I don't know if I mentioned, but in the last two reads, we saw that somebody's literally somebody's parent, a person who, you know, you know, uh, parents, people who they grew up with, um, husbands, wives. OK, people that are close. Um, to you guys are involved, um, especially with this energy of family secrets that we saw in the last reading family. This is family. Okay. Your family is people in your family and, and, and friends of yours. That's securing the bag. All right. By, by, by trying to harm you. Right. Some of them are doing it through, you know, we're going to get life insurance policies that way or um, we're going to um, be paid off spiritually in blessings or <laughs> this is my way. This is my favorite one. I'm going to be famous. Right. People who ain't got who, who ain't got. Um, <laughs> I just heard Nikki more talent in my motherfucking left thumb. Right. I got more talent in my in, 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 in my left thumb. Then a lot of these people that, that, that tried to take me out of here. Right. But, but somehow they're going to be famous doing what, like, like, what is it that you do? They don't even know what they want to be famous for. Just want attention. All right. A lot of these people doing it out of ego. Okay. Or just don't want you to have it. It's a lot of things, right? It's going to be different for everybody. Um, and for some people, I'm being called to reiterate the fact that eight people or seven people may be involved, right? Spirit had me count the stars on the star card, okay? And he said that's that, that many people are involved. Okay, so with the follow your dreams and storm warning, right? So what we're going to be asking Spirit um, right now is what are their plots and plans, what they trying to do to us? For somebody, wow. For somebody, um... There's someone who's trying to cause um, a fire in your home. OK, so watch out for that. Make sure you unplug in appliances and, and, and OK, so they just said drinking water. OK, um, yeah, watch out. What are they plotting and planning? 
to try to stop us. What are they plotting and planning, Spirit? What are their plots and plans? Hold on, you guys. What are they plotting and planning? 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 Mm. <clears throat> Some of these people um, are wanting to um, are wanting you to harm yourself with the, with the energy of acceptance. What I got here is that um, some of these people are wanting you to feel like, you know what, I, I have to accept this. I can't take this um, anymore. They're just going to, at, at some point, they're just going to get me. They won't stop. This won't end. This is what these people want you to think, okay? Rather than, I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change, right? They don't, they don't want you to see it that way in the way where it's like, listen, I know these people are crazy, all right? I know they have um, merged their con consciousness with um, demonic entities, okay? So, so what the fuck? I, I mean, they just going to be evil because that's what demonic entities are, okay? They don't have, um, they're empty, vest they're, they're empty, they're empty. They don't have um, empathy like we do, okay? They don't have that. So of course this is what this is what they're going to do, right? They're going to be evil. So instead of um, looking at it in a way where it's like I, there's nothing I can do and being scared and accepting defeat, right? And maybe even having suicidal thoughts or harming yourself, um, you take it as listen. I accept the fact that these um, people are evil. Um, they're losers. Okay. They're, they're going to be crackheads. That's what they do. Or they're vampires or, or, you know, look, I don't mean no harm, but, um, I, I picked up like months ago in the Capricorn read, like some of these people can't even pay their phone bills. Do you know how hard that is? <laughs> like, Look, I need my phone and, 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 and I can't imagine, you get what I'm saying? Not being able to pay my phone bill, right? They got it hard. Okay. They have it real hard. Would I off a family member for it? No, no, no. I'd rather be poor and destitute, but Hey, you know what I mean? They're not us. Okay. And that's what we need to accept. We need to accept that a lot of these people's life choices or, um, the hand that they were dealt, um, it's pretty rough and tough uh, for a lot of them. It's, it's due to, um, you know, karma. Okay. But for a lot of them, um, you know, they just have unfortunate circumstances and they respond differently to it. Okay. Some of these people are crabs in a barrel and that's what, that's just what we need to accept. All right. But one of the things that they're doing is they're wanting you to commit suicide. Okay. Empathy. Energy. And with the plan and empathy. Oh, okay. So what this empathy, what this empathy thing is, these people may be doing sympathy spells, okay, to get back into your energy with the with the empathy and um, bittersweet. It's like I'm just gonna accept the good with the bad, you know. I'm just gonna, you know, look again. I, I'm going to reiterate the fact that for a lot of us, these people are our parents. OK, um, these people are close family members, close friends, friends that we grew up. They, they're in the same class. OK, watched each other grow. Right. Have memories with these people. So they're using that, especially the fact that you're an empath, that your heart is pure. OK, they're using that to try to come back into your life. And then what uh, ultimately set you up? You know, um, imagine, you know, the good thing about you, which is, you know, your heart being pure, your heart being big, you being empathetic. Imagine that being the death of you. Okay. Too much of a good thing could definitely be bad. I don't know why I'm hearing never too much, never too much, never too much. 
for myself. I don't want nobody else to ever love me. You are my shining star, my God, in light, my love fantasy. There's not a minute, hour, day or night that I don't love you. You're at the top of my list because I'm always thinking of you. Okay. <laughs> I knew I was going to get to why they wanted me to sing it. All right. <clears throat> These, somebody wants you to long for them. Yup. They, they using witchcraft, right? Spells, doing spells, whatever. Um, to, to try to make you think of them. Oh, my love. Could be even love spells if you got an ex that's involved. A thousand kisses from you and it wasn't mine. Never too much, never too much. A Pisces could be involved or you could be a Pisces. And I just don't want to stop. You could be dreaming of this person. <laughs> yeah, they trying to stay on your mind, right? They want they want to stay on your mind because they, they feel that's a, a way to get in. All right. So one of the things that they're doing, OK, plotting and planning is um, to play on your heart, pull on your heartstrings. Right. But not like <laughs> not like that. <laughs> pull on your heartstrings. You doing spells. OK. Doing sympathy spells, love spells. OK. Mm, I just heard grasping for straws like they, they, they're, they're this is desperation. Discipline. Tell me about discipline and what they're planning. Tell me about discipline. Tell me about discipline. Okay. <clears throat> so one of the things that these people are <laughs> trying to do is, right? You know when you set out to do something, okay? Um, one of the things that they're trying to do is like when you set out to do something and you, and you apply that, right. You put your, you put your mind to it. Um, and then like you execute something, but then they, they want you to go back and forth in your mind. Like this is not good. Right. They, they, they they're trying to make you feel like a perfectionist. No, I don't like the way this came out. Okay. And so you, and so just, you know, you erase it or, you know, um, for those of you that are content creators, you don't put it up, right? You don't, you don't post your videos or for those of you that are writing books or writing music, it's like you, you get something out and then they want you to overlook it and overthink it. Right. And it's like, okay, so what I can, the, the energy of, I can accomplish anything that I set my mind to. It's like, damn, you know, I can't do it. I'm never going to be great. And this, this leads you to go back on your dreams. Okay. This leads you to, um, to, getting off the train. All right. This leads you to, to have like an energy of s stalling yourself because you're not, because you're looking at it with the eye of a perfectionist or am I good enough? So then that makes you feel like, I, I don't think I could really do this. Okay. Also, um, these, these people are also trying to make you overeat. Okay. To make yourself sick, making you feel like you don't have the self discipline to put certain things down. All right. Watch out for that as well. If you have to, um, and I said this early in the, in the, in the, in the other reading, right? The two readings before this, what I said was, you know, if you have to literally like sh be strict on changing your diet to combat the energy of sickness that they're trying to send out, do that, do that. Okay. So that's another thing. Now let's check out. <laughs> Let's check out freedom, right? I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Let's check out freedom. Now, now here's, here's one of the things that I know that they have been doing, you know, <laughs> to me. <laughs> it's not funny, but, you know, like I said, um, you know, when me and my friends like to stay is staying out of jail and staying out of hell. Okay. Don't let things, don't let, don't let things push you, um, to, 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 want to harm somebody. Don't get too tired of these folks that you go knock, knock, knocking on their door. <laughs> okay. Cause they will call the cops. Okay. 
They will do anything to see you locked up. Don't let them cre- do, do, do these conflict spells and, and have you uh, whooping somebody ass in the grocery store, okay? Or, or um, arguing, having road rage with somebody in, in their car, okay? Um, don't, don't go pop in your trunk. Because I'm not saying that, um, you know, they could be trying to make you feel violent, right? Because damn sure they're going to do something to make sure that you are provoked. But what I'm saying is your response to these things are key. How you respond to these things are going to to be what keeps you um, out of jail and out of hell, okay? Be very careful. Keep your emotions in order, okay? Keep that, practice that energy of being zen because they're trying to bring you out of character. They're trying to bring you back. They're trying to do anything to stop you, okay? You see this energy of facade? These, these people are creating il- illusions around you, okay? Chaos and conflict around you. Yeah, trying to bring you back from that energy of recovery. We saw this, we saw this in the first read, okay? Um, well, two readings ago, right? We saw this where it's like what you have recovered from, right? The, uh, the energy that you have um, came so far from, okay? They're trying to bring you back. By creating illusions. Yeah, you see this energy of discovery, how, you know, your ascension, how far you've came, how much your heart grew, how much your heart has healed, right? They're trying to bring you back to that lower vibration, low energy, um, lower level um, energy of conflict, chaos, violence. Yeah, look at that. What I say, they want they want to put your ass in jail. <laughs> then I say that they want to put your ass in jail because anything to stop you from spreading love and light. I shouldn't say this. <laughs> you know. I'm just trying to like I feel like you put me in jail. I will have everybody in there praising praising the most high. (laughs) Okay. They don't understand that we spread love and light wherever we go. But what they're trying to do and put us in such low circumstances that we don't believe in God anymore. Okay. For a lot of y'all, I want to tell y'all a lot of my personal reads and and what I've seen in my personal life, jail is one of the main places where that, uh, demonic, those, those contracts take place jail. Okay. People do people sell their souls for protection. People, uh, sell their souls. Like, are you going to be free? Okay. A lot of things are promised to you in jail because that's like your lowest part. Uh, you know, the lowest place, right, where you could be, okay? I just heard losing my religion. People lose their religion in jail, right? Because sometimes um, some of the reason why, um, you know, this gang stalking and shit occurs is another reason is like, because they want you to sell your soul too, <laughs> okay? They want you to give up your energy. Remember, this is this is war and 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 Satan. (laughs) I told you my ancestors got a name for him. They don't even call him that. They don't even like to address him. They don't they don't like to give him no (laughs) airtime. But but Satan (laughs) um, is 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 an evil genius. Okay, so he'll. um, Come up with lots of ways um, to to the art of war. Okay, you guys. All right, you guys. So I hope that helped y'all. Just wanted to um, break down, you know, um, their tactics. Okay.